Hey there. So, I signed up for this thing and I won this uh, little Viper Tech. You know what? You don't need to be in here because I don't want you to get spooked. Go ahead, sweetheart. You stay out for now. That's my dogs. I don't want them to get spooked if this is uh, whatever's. So I won this little little Viper Tech. Viper Tech uh, stun gun dealio here. Whatever, 15, 15 million volts, what have you. I don't even know I want it, man. These aren't none but like, what, six, seven dollars on Amazon. Got a little flashlight there. Woo -hoo. You know, this seems like, of all the stupid 30s, this seems like the worst one of all so far. I mean, this is way worse than, than sharpening, uh, or, uh, shaving my face with a knife. Whew. Palms are sweating. I need to figure this out because if I fall I don't want to hit my head because this has to be like uh, like the Sierra Club leave no trace and stuff of stupid dirty so let me try this here I like because I would be the idiot that that like smashes his head and dies from testing a stun gun on himself um, I'd be lying if I, if I said I wasn't nervous about this right now, because the only time I've, I've ever been electrocuted was on accidents, you know? So, I'm certain this is going to be, be unpleasant. Whew. Do I hit my arm, or... Where do I start, you know? Whew. Whew. Nothing to it but to do it, right? Whew. Damn! Yeah, yeah, ah! ah. That just throws shit all haywire. Whew. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that is, uh... That just, just made everything here just kind of worthless. So I think the next step is going to be to, uh... Try it in the... A body shot here. Look, you baby, I need you out, buddy. I don't want you getting too scared. It's okay. It's okay, sweethearts. I'll be right out, hopefully. I'll be right out. Whew. I'm sweating like crazy here. Alright, so... Stay. I'm not kidding now. Just stay. I don't want you in here when I'm doing this. Dogs are like little kids. Like he'll come in and you stay. Where's a good place to do this? Nowhere, right? Oh man, that's just a quick little zap too. Woo! <laughs> you stay, Bubba. Look, <laughs> he's looking. He's looking like he's gonna kill this thing. It's all right, baby. He's got. He's got a little berserker look. Stay, Bubba. Look.
That's my skin burning. I think it's worse because because I'm nervous about it. Man. Now I'm uncertain how I would function if I was ramped up and being hit with this. With that short zap, I mean, that's not even a tenth of a second, you know. I don't know. Would I have the the ability to knock that away and get in? I don't know. I will tell you that it is an incredibly unpleasant experience that, you know, don't don't try this at home. It's 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 miserable. <sighs> it doesn't seem from that short shot, it doesn't seem to affect muscles beyond a range of maybe I don't know eight inches to either side this way and going in it feels like my abdominal muscles are using my spine for a punching bag so I'm gonna say that for for shock value it's it's miserable it's it's awful and I'm really not able to hold it against my skin long enough to, uh, or against myself long enough to really see the, the effects of a, a real stiff jolt. Oh. So, there it is. The Vipertec stun gun, incredibly unpleasant, gnarly, burns your skin. I got little, little burn tattoos here, little, little Frankenstein's monster, little burn marks. Okay, you can come in now, sweetheart. Come on in, baby. So here's what this came with: uh, a crunched up box. VTS 880-1 purple warning keep away from children check your local and state regulations to determine if possession of this device is legal in the jurisdiction it is carried in law enforcement self-defense security made in China it's got some little instructions here let's see do not discharge the stun gun into the air for more than one second at a time as this will damage the unit. Avoid the warranty. Flashlight, move the on off switch to the center position, activate the LED flashlight. Charging. This comes with a little charging deal. You see that? So you plug this directly into the wall and I guess maybe that's uh, that's the shortcoming of the model, you know. You burn up that battery's lifespan. You can't put new batteries in. <laughs> Using the stun gun. With the stun gun armed, hold the electrodes against the body of the assailant and press the round discharge button. The most effective locations are the shoulders, hips, thighs, buttocks, and below the rib cage. While holding the stun gun against the assailant, you will not see or hear the spark. The stun gun cannot be damaged by continued firing into the body of an assailant. Do not discharge the gun into the air for more than one second at a time. A shock from a stun gun lasting one second or less will cause pain and minor muscle contractions. Stunning the assailant for one to two seconds will cause muscle spasms and a dazed mental state. Stunning the assailant for three to five seconds will cause loss of balance and muscle control. Stay.
does gink you up, but I'm telling you, it doesn't affect my appendages. So, bear that in mind with these. That, they will have time to knock it away. So there needs to be a two-pronged attack. You need to keep on them. If you can get a hold of one of their hands or something, well then you're going to get shocked, right? So you can't be touching them. Because that's one of the, the shortcomings of this. That that, that electrocution is, is going, going beyond just you. So, bear that in mind. That there is time to knock it out of your hand. I'm going to say if you got like pepper spray in one hand, you hit them directly in the eyes. And then, give them the slam a lam a ding dong of this. Like, it said the buttocks, man. I don't know, stun gun them. Stun gun them all like uh, things to do in Denver when you're dead style. Give them a stun gun buckwheat. I don't know, man. That seemed like like you're going beyond self-defense then. Like if you're stun gunning someone on the buttocks, you're behind them. Now, say you get that stun gun on your assailant's gonads. That's going to take that, that, uh, that urge to do, do nasty. That's going to, like, take the urge to do crime right out of their system. I'm going to tell you, because that's, that's pretty unpleasant. Pretty unpleasant. So, bear that in mind. If you do stun gun them somewhere where they can sweep their arm down or across, They'll be able to knock it away. Um, there it is. That's what I got, y'all. And I got some new gear. Going to be going up on eBay. Figured I'd show y'all these. Got some Vipers going on. I've got red and black. I've got Kevlar and black. Hand braided Kevlar and black. And I've got the, the Brisha. It's a Gaelic word, and I just thought it, it made me think of it while I was making this. You know, like, because the technora is the color of wheat ready to harvest, to me, you know? And then the green, that technora and green, this is hand braided technora. And then I've got green and black, Kelly green and black, by the way. Kelly green and technora, um, not the teal. It's just absolutely stunning. It's very beautiful. These, these came out just nicely. And I'm going to put some pictures up of, uh, on the Facebook there of some little, so my wife is doing like her first round of, not student teaching, but sort of like observations, and then she will have to teach a lesson. This is the first time she's had to actually teach a lesson, right? She's just beginning university, and I'm just super, super proud of her, and she was trying to figure out, because, um, you know, what what can I get these you know what can I get these kids just to show them because I mean these kids man you know they come from from a neighborhood like ours you know ain't a lot of money going around it's a low income school district and uh, you know they're bringing her pictures and stuff and just telling her we're we're happy you're here things like that you know little third graders man all heart you know when a kid hands you a picture you don't look at it like like you an art critic or something that's that kid's whole heart they're giving you a piece of themselves even though they forget they gave it to you two seconds later they're off running around for that moment you're getting a piece of a kid's heart and that's a big deal you know so I sat down yesterday I made 32 glow in the dark um, little key tags that um, sort of like that cobra braid with a uh, quarter inch glow in the dark cord with a, a little lanyard loop on it so they could play with it or you know put it on the backpack or something so that's what I did yesterday I didn't do any vipers or anything on top of my regular day I, I made those and, and watched Sherlock last night it's like I freaking love that show Whew. love that show um, they really did a good job with the two characters there um, they play uh, Sherlock Holmes and John Watson uh, oh and my hold came in. I put a hold on my own book at the Phoenix Public Library and I just got it. You want to see?
好噶。Check it out. The road to hell is paved with zombies. Bam. Phoenix Public Library. See that? How cool. Science fiction. Sci-fi. Nye. C. They don't have it at every branch of the Phoenix Public Library. They ordered five copies of each. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put... I'm gonna put like something cool in here, you know, like like one of those I don't know, pictures or something, print some glossy up, something nice, put that in there, and so that was that was pretty much uh, a big deal for me. Here, scope this out. It should show up. There's these little little black burn marks in the middle. Little little black pimple burns. Super unpleasant. Viper tech. So, um, if someone else was doing it, because I, I just don't want to hold it on myself, you know. Oh no! Plus the dogs are freaking out. Should I give it one more shot? All right. got that little internal governor there saying bad idea malfunction malfunction There, I made it, made it longer that time. Man, it makes this, this whistling noise, and you smell your own skin burning, man. Oh, yuck! I made it longer that time, but the boy come running. You a good protector, man. That's a good protector. I appreciate you. Whew. Okay, that's I guess to call it quits on that day. That's enough. Did I turn it back off? have it in here all turned on and just zap myself or something yeah I can see where that's going to cause some some serious unpleasantness y'all oh. whoa yeah that made these nasty little black burn marks check those out in there see that That's where that juice just passed through. It's got the two electrodes out here and then two prongs going in as well. And those are closer together. I can smell my my skin burning. They say it's, it, it does smell just like pork cooking. So they call this long pork. Oh, um, long pork. Alright, I'm actually feeling uh, feeling pretty good. Kind of energized now go eat something. Thank y'all for coming by. I appreciate you. I dig you. And remember, there's no magic bullet when it comes to self-defense. It's a determined mindset, okay? You're determined to, to survive. And you are... You will have to take at least a half a step in the direction of viewing the world as enemy territory wherever you are, okay? Um, we used to call it, uh, yeah, just, just a prepared mindset, okay? You take a half a step in that direction and, and look at the world in a different way from, you know, from that different viewpoint. It can't hurt. Well, I dig you all and I'm just glad you came by, okay?
So you be good to yourselves. You live free and always, always, always punch hard, okay? I dig you all. You hold your heads up high. It's a big world out there. And I want you to be safe. Alright, I'll catch y'all later. Be good to yourselves.